Now, for the past few days, I've been fishing without sonar, and to say that it's been humbling is an understatement. Let's talk about it. Now, going out catching a fish is one thing, but when you're going out there fishing without any form of sonar, it's a whole different ball game. I mean, yeah, I caught fish, but the simple fact is just having a 2D sonar on your boat is so much of an advantage over having to fish each area that you think a fish could be for over 30 minutes because you've got to hit every single angle because you're not aware if there's fish there or not. So now the biggest question is, how do you catch more fish when you don't have anything? How do you get out there and find crappy? Uh, when I've been fishing, it's been heat index over 100 degrees. How do you get out there and actually find them? And that's what we're gonna talk about on today's video. As I've said in countless, countless videos, bridges are probably your best option if you don't have any form of sonar. You know, the deeper the bridge, probably the better off you're gonna be. But don't think that you need to fish deep because there's not a lot of oxygen down deep. Those fish are gonna be positioned anywhere between 20 up to even five feet of water. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions that people think is that it's difficult to catch fish without sonar. In reality, it's actually quite simple to catch fish without sonar. And what I mean by that is after you've actually got a bite, caught a fish, you've already zoned in the correct cast, the correct depth, the correct color. But what makes it difficult is actually finding the fish. Because what I realized over the past couple of days, like I said, fishing without sonar, is it's taking me like 10 times as long to be able to get that initial bite, to get that initial you know, reaction from the color that I put on because I'm not able to just know what depth I should be fishing, know where they're holding on the piece of structure, and just know in general how they're reacting to my bait. So now how do you improve the odds of actually catching a fish when, you know, you're either a beginner, you're out there in a kayak, no sonar, you're in a little John boat, no sonar, is fish visible structures. And what I mean by that, you want to fish lay downs, stumps, docks, bridges, anything that you can visibly see because if you're going to go out there and find the brush pile, even if you, like me, I know we're probably 300 plus brush piles are on my home lake that I could easily cycle through on any given day and catch a limit. But when I have no way of knowing that I'm on top of this brush pile without actually having to drag like a big sinker around to find the brush pile, that's going to take a lot of time and there's not enough time in the day, especially in the summertime because you have a bite window of about four hours before, I mean, it's just unbearable out there. So fishing visible structure, making your best cast as fast as you can. If you're fishing a log, you want your first cast to be right down the side of that log so you have the best chance of getting a bite. If you're fishing a dock, you want to fish the shady side of the dock first to know if there's fish there. Stop wasting as much time as you possibly can by making less casts as you possibly can. If you pull up to a dock and it's sunny on one side, and there's shade on the other side, there's absolutely no reason you should fish the sunny side. Start on the shady side. If you get a bite, then maybe you can venture to the sunny shot. And if you don't, just keep on rolling. If you pull up to a bridge, every bridge the sun's gonna come up and there's gonna be a shade line on one side of the bridge and not a shade line on one side of the bridge. Fish the shade line. And like I said, if you get a bite on the shade line, venture on the other side. But until then, just keep moving. If you're fishing a lay down, you're fishing a stump, the same thing goes. Fish underneath it because normally the sun's up by the time you get to a lay down unless you're really early in the morning. Now if you're really early, uh, now if you're there really early in the morning fishing a, a lay down or a stump, you kind of want to cast around the front of it. And if you don't get a there are certain disadvantages of fishing without any kind of sonar. But there are also certain advantages because once you get dialed in, 
it's you're unstoppable if you're able to get out of that's really why i wanted to do this for a couple weeks is to get out there go back to the primitive age of not having forward facing sonar not having side scan and just break it down get my skills toned back up because i mean that's the way i grew up we grew up with one 2d sonar in the front on the trolling motor and we caught thousands upon thousands of fish now here in the next couple of weeks i'm probably gonna put some form of sonar on my trolling motor so i can start fishing brush piles again especially this time of year brush pile is kind of key <laughs> but hopefully in today's video gave you a couple tips to get out there have confidence fish an area thoroughly but make as less of cast as humanly possible to cover as much water and i'm sure you're gonna be slinging slabs in the boat